I started rehearsing Long Legs as soon as I got it. And I'm talking about two years ago, 4.30 in the morning on Christmas Day. And I just started hearing my mother's voice and like going through the rhythms and then, you know, oh, there she is. And she used to say to me, you look like just like a little bird when you were born. And I was like, yeah, that's long legs. <laughs> so I'm doing this at 4.30 in the morning. Everybody else is getting ready to open presents and whatnot. And I'm doing this very dark character and trying to infuse it with love, you know, it's it's a very strange dynamic. And my approach to try and get more personal with my film performances, I've been trying to find a, a, a constructive place to put my memories of my mother and her vocalizations and her body language into a character. Uh, I never thought that it would wind up being a character uh, who happens to be a serial killer, but you can do that sort of thing when you're feeling artistic. You could have made nice with me, but you didn't. I have always maintained that horror, when done well, is genuinely surreal it's it's dream logic it doesn't have to rely on physics of reality um it can allow actors to express themselves in other ways besides the that which is considered the arbiter of great acting always which is 1970s naturalism well, yes, that is good, but we've done it again and again, ad infinitum, ad nauseum. 